Hello and welcome to Destinations. I'm specialist Nathan Akridge. This week we'll take a look at the beautiful city of Volterra in the Tuscan region of Italy. Volterra is nestled in the rolling hills to the southwest of Florence. Its rich history includes being an important part of ancient Etruscan trade and art. As you near the city's impressive walls, pause a moment to take in this massive gate. The older portion has stood for over 2,000 years. A plaque at the gate's entrance stands as testimony of Volterra's struggle for survival. In June of 1944, all the paving stones were ripped up and the gate was plugged to help preserve this piece of Etruscan history. The main pillars holding up the arch, which date back to the 4th century BC. The arch reaching over the two pillars that's in a white stone dates to about the 2nd century BC. Once you're through the gate, you have access to numerous museums and archaeological sites. In the city's main square, you can see the first city hall built in Tuscany. A must is the Etruscan Museum. This attraction is considered by many to be one of the best collections of Etruscan artifacts. Take a time portal and catch a glimpse of the past by perusing the endless display of alabaster funeral urns, mirrors, and coins. Make sure you stop by Volterra's Roman Theater. Originally built in 10 BC, the theater was partially demolished to make way for bathhouses in the 4th century. And they just decide to use the area where the theater was as a garbage dump. So this garbage over the centuries disintegrates, becoming dirt. And so by the beginning of the 1900s, no one remembers that there was a theater there. Although the size of the city has diminished greatly over the centuries, Volterra has managed to keep its most famous export, alabaster, alive and well. For more information on this historic town, you can visit our website at afneurope.net. From Volterra, Italy, I'm specialist Nathan Akridge. Greetings from Tuskegee, Alabama. My name is Johnny Ford, mayor of Tuskegee. Life is easy like Sunday morning in Tuskegee, Alabama. It's the South at its best. This is historic Tuskegee University. It is one of the finest universities on the face of the globe. Dr. George Washington Carver, the wizard of Tuskegee, took the peanut and the sweet potato and revolutionized the agricultural economy of the entire South. This is Moton Field, the home of the famous flying, fighting Tuskegee Airmen. They helped to eventually integrate the entire armed services. We honor the Tuskegee Airmen for their historic role in changing our military. And we honor those of you for your service to America. If you're ever in Alabama, please come by and see us. You know that over 4,000 Americans died in home fires alone last year. Hi, my name is DC-1 Burke with the NSA Naples Fire Department. In most of the cases, the homes did not have working smoke alarms. Sounding smoke alarm will allow you the few extra seconds you need to get out of that home alive. Install, maintain smoke detectors on every level of your home. Change the batteries every six months. This message is brought to you by the United States Fire Administration, NSA Naples Fire Department, and AFN. If you notice someone suspicious, contact the authorities right away. Stay vigilant and watch your surroundings. OPSEC, it's everyone's responsibility. No animals were harmed in the making of this commercial. How does your education measure up to Central Texas College? They've got Votech courses in a variety of fast-growing fields, caring faculty, and flexible scheduling. See your CTC field representative and make your education measure up. Parents, your voice makes a difference and the European Command wants to know what you think about child and youth services. The annual quality of life survey focuses on the programs we offer for children and teens on our installation. If you get the email asking you to participate in the survey, I urge you to do so. Only with your voice can we offer the best services for our children. Thanks for speaking up and taking the time to provide us your feedback. I'm Leah Ortiz, ruling the roof for the Midday Show. If you keep listening, I'll keep spinning the hot tracks. I'm Leah Ortiz on AFN Eagle Midday Show. It's the Steel Toe 
no boots. These are everyday footwear for me. I've got my hard hat and my safety glasses. And when I need them, I've got my gloves, knee pads, and hearing protection. Different gear for different jobs. But you can't see the one thing that makes it all work. Common sense. None of this gear does any good unless a person has enough sense to use it. It's time to talk about talking to the press, specifically what you say and what you're wearing when you say it. First of all, be careful. Communication with the media is not protected. Don't claim to speak on behalf of other service members, your unit, your service, or DOD, unless that's your job. Oh, and one more thing. Watch what you say. Public statements in uniform could be seen as a government endorsement. To learn more, contact your legal office. How you doing? Let's talk about talk. Here's the Bill of Rights. Freedom of speech is one of them. As a member of the military, you're allowed to speak out, but there are rules. Like what you writers say to your congressmen. It's protected. Just don't violate the UCMJ. Also, what you say lawfully can't be restricted. Plus, there's no reprisal for lawful communication. There you go. To learn more, contact your legal office. I like to get souvenirs from where I've been stationed. But there's some souvenirs that fall into a different category. They're called war trophies. Anything once owned by the enemy is considered a war trophy. And to bring it home, you have to go through your chain of command and get written authorization. Without written approval, it's an offense punishable by an Article 15, or even a court-martial. Yeah, it's nice to have souvenirs from where you've been. But for some, you need an okay first. Last week, the Thompson tribe invited the Garcias over to a barbecue. At this point, they're realizing the importance of building alliances and getting along in a community. The Garcias just moved in. They seem like good neighbors. Matt, he's a young guy, energetic. I think he's going to be a real asset to this housing unit. Living in family housing requires basic neighborhood survival skills, like working together and getting along. While your neighbors might not be able to vote you off, good alliances can be valuable. Ah, Mother's Day. A time to remember Mom at her very best. Give me joy to the show! Oh, sure, she can be a tad moody. Mama? But all in all, she's the greatest. So don't miss our Mom's Movie Marathon. With six films honoring Mom. On AFN Movie. Oh, I was listening. Military Health System provides you the best care possible, but sometimes they may need to refer you to a civilian facility where you may experience some cultural differences. You may end up with a couple of roommates and there may not be dividers between beds. You have to bring your own towels, hygiene items and pajamas and take local currency for phone calls as cell phones are not allowed on the wards. Most European hospitals serve a light breakfast and dinner and lunch is the main cooked meal of the day. The Military Health System, world class, worldwide health care. You deserve it. The dark red appearance of our vacuum packed meat does take some getting used to, but expose it to oxygen and within minutes it regains its bright red bloom. The unusual odor that's sometimes present is a harmless concentration of lactic acid, a natural tenderizer present in all meat. It dissipates on its own, but to hasten the process, rinse and dispose of the package right away. Then give solid cuts a cold water rinse and pat them dry before cooking as usual. We all know fighting and defeating terrorism involves more than our men and women in uniform battling insurgents in faraway places. We in U.S. Army Europe have a long history combating terrorists, and we continue to adapt our protective measures to new threats as we identify them. I can also assure you that our host nations take on their responsibility for our safety and that of their own citizens very, very seriously. We constantly evaluate and, as necessary, change our force protection tactics and procedures. We appreciate your continued vigilance and your assistance in bringing vulnerabilities to the attention of the chain of command. As the commander of U.S. Army Europe, I can assure you force protection remains on the top of the priority list. Together, we will keep the use of our families strong and safe. Here's 
one to ponder from the staff of the Fifth Corps Safety Office. If you don't know the world's safest driver, then it isn't you. For more safety wisdom and resources, go to vcor.army.mil and click on safety. There's not much you can get for a buck these days, or is there? Subscribe to Stars and Stripes for a dollar a week. If you're in a delivery area, on or off installation, get Stars and Stripes delivered to your home every day. Enjoy your daily coffee with your morning coffee without ever leaving the house. Stay informed and entertained with Stars and Stripes, your hometown newspaper. Visit www.stripes.com and click on Get Our Paper. For a buck a week, you can't afford not to take advantage of it. Speed, agility, and endurance. The qualities it takes to compete in the 2007 MWR Invitational Track and Field event Saturday, May 12th in Grafenwehr, Germany. Go to www.mwr-europe.com. It could happen to anyone. In an instant, your world turns upside down and you don't know where to go for help. It could be a sudden family illness, a personal tragedy, or financial burdens due to misfortune. When problems become too overwhelming to handle on your own, reach out to those who can help. Contact any of the three relief and aid societies for assistance. We got a dead player, two other shirts with manslaughter. You're taking care of the team. That's prostitution. Close to home. Tonight at 8 on AFN Prime. This is where it happened. I was working at this commissary and kept seeing invoices for all these batteries being sold to one man. Miss Bailey gave the local inspector general's office a call and said she noticed something suspicious. It added up to thousands of dollars in invoices to just this one guy. What would he do with all those batteries? We found that the commissary director was taking bribes from this individual, and in turn, the director was illegally selling him batteries that were being resold for a profit. At first, I was afraid to say anything because I wasn't sure what would happen to me. We assured her she had the right to whistleblower protection under the law. Anyone who reports wrongdoing to the chain of command, inspector general, or a member of Congress can seek protection from reprisals by contacting an IG or calling the DOD hotline. And that made me feel a lot better about doing the right thing. Unit makes them every day on land, on the sea, and in the air. Now, DOD's finest communicators are searching the services for aggressive, talented personnel who live for a challenge. Think you have what it takes? Then go to jcuonline.org and connect with your future. Marines are taught never to use any excessive force than what is required to accomplish the immediate mission. The rules of engagement under which we operate require U.S. forces to respond proportionally to the threat that we've identified. We try not to harm somebody if we don't have to harm somebody. We teach proportionality in terms of using the minimum amount of force necessary to neutralize the threat. The actions an individual Marine takes on the ground can have a huge effect on the overall mission. This is an Operation Enduring Freedom weather update. Weather sensor. You work hard. You need time to kick back. That's where we come in. Armed Forces Entertainment. Coming to a theater near you. Wherever you are around the world. The best sights. The best sounds. The best punchlines for the front lines. So you can relax, raise your spirits, and get a taste of home. Check out the Armed Forces Entertainment website to see what's coming to your neck of the woods. Armed Forces Entertainment. Coming to a theater near you.
We're all big sports fans, but recently I... Camerera, posso prendere un altro? Your famous curse. It's all history, man. Just wait. No way. They're... That's it. Keep in mind, if you stand out to the locals, you'll stand out as targets for terrorists as well. And by...